doesn't love cats? Whether it's scrolling for cat pics or actually cuddling up with them, these fluffy and lazy creatures are just so lovable. But what if cats are mind-controlling us to make us love them? Well, kind of, through their parasites. Toxoplasma gondii is a parasite that only reproduces in felines, making cats their definitive hosts. The parasites enter the intestine, sexually reproduce, and produce eggs called oocysts, which are found in cat feces. With an infected cat, you have infected feces. Then infected soil, infected water, infected produce, and eventually infected organisms. And when these infected organisms travel around, they act as intermediate hosts, spreading the parasite wherever they go. These factors contribute to an environment vulnerable to Toxoplasma gondii, making it one of the most successful single cell parasites to roam on Earth. Previous research has shown that toxoplasmosis, the infection caused by toxoplasma gondii, has the ability to mind control organisms by affecting the amygdala, the region in the brain responsible for emotions. The parasite establishes microscopic cysts in the brain, which may lead to behavioral malfunctions like schizophrenia, slow reaction time, poor concentration, and interestingly, love for cat. P. While rodents are supposed to be afraid of cats, those infected with the parasite are actually attracted to the smell of cat pee. This is excellent for the parasite, since the cat will gobble up the infected rodent and act as a reproduction site. This is called the fatal attraction phenomenon, and we humans are no exception to the relationship with cat pee. A published study showed that there may be a gender-dependent effect of toxoplasmosis. Infected males found the odor of cat pee to be more pleasant compared to non-infected males while infected females found the odor of cat pee to be less pleasant compared to non-infected females. So you may want to rethink your relationship with your cat after this video. Or maybe not. One out of three humans have the parasite and aren't even aware of it. And most of the time, toxoplasmosis has no symptoms. And if there are, it would just be minor flu-like ones. The infections only last around two weeks. And eventually, you can be immune to the parasite. Pregnant mothers and immunocompromised individuals do have to be careful though. These are still parasites after all. While cats are indeed hotspots for Toxoplasma gondii, the parasite will only be infectious after 1-5 to five days of thriving in the feces. And it's quite often that other affected areas like produce, water, soil, and undercooked meat are the more common transmitters. So you don't have to worry about giving up your cat. Because cats are the best! We receive oxytocin and reduce stress, which ultimately improve our immune system. Or who knows? Maybe cats in Toxoplasma gondii have a secret plan to take over the world, one loving human at a time.